All right, I guess we've decided that we are not going to go through with things, so as soon as gonna hit send. <clears throat> That's sad. It is the next day and we have decided to cancel our offer on the house due to what we found in the inspection. And I didn't really get a chance to talk about it yesterday. We were pretty upset. Um, it was a really, really, really hard decision. We were super excited to start this process of getting our own house and it just, I don't know, we chose a house that had more issues than we are willing and financially able to deal with. We were talking too about how we found out the entire basement, the electrical wasn't done properly, apparently, and that basically makes the entire basement unusable. Not only is there that creepy, weird crawl space down there in the bathroom, but the entire electrical downstairs is not functional. <laughs> and the bedrooms down there are weird and there's mold down there and yeah so i just wanted to show you guys the report that we got so you guys can kind of see what we were talking about uh, or what i am talking about just to get a better idea of like what this all looks like please keep in mind that while i will be talking about a lot of the issues that are in this house there were good things about it as well and things that we really liked going into the offer. So please keep those things in mind as I talk about some of these issues with the house. Okay, so here is the start of the inspection and that is the outside of the house. To the left, you can see that big box that we were talking about. That is the septic system. And while it's okay looking, it pretty much takes up the entire yard and you can't really do that much with it. So here you can see this is talking about the lot and what it all looks like um, in terms of the driveway, the concrete, all of that. Basically they said we would have to redo the entire lot to make it all level. So that was a really big expense that we were not expecting. So there's that. Um, we'd have to do a lot of grading in order to get things up to where it needs to be. Then you can see here, this is the balcony, some information about how it wasn't properly installed. So we would have to do some things to fix that up. You can see more issues with the house on the outside that we would have to go through and fix. Things like woodpecker holes, uh, flashing, wood that needs to be fixed. There were some good things about the house, like the roof was in good shape. Um, they said that it was a newer material, approximately three to five years old, so that was great. And... Um, so that was something we wouldn't have to worry about. The bathrooms were a big issue, something that we knew about going into it but aren't very happy about. Just knowing that all three bathrooms were in bad shape and we'd have to basically replace something or multiple things in every bathroom. So there's kind of what you can see there. Um, especially with the master drain, it was all messed up and would have to be fixed as well. Okay, and then we're going to get to the basement, and this is where pretty much everything fell apart. They found a lot of uh, staining, a lot of water issues, which are to be expected in different houses, but was just something that there's a lot of issues in that basement that we weren't ready to or prepared to have to fix it all. So you can see more information about the sump pump here. You can see 
a moisture location on all of the exposed block walls in the crawl space. Also, look how creepy this crawl space is. Ugh. This is like right in one of the doors in the bathroom. It was terrible. And uh, they found that the wood was literally like dripping. So basically that whole front foyer area we would have to replace. So here's some more pictures. You can see that dripping there um, in some of those middle pictures. Like that is so bad. And yes, we'd have to basically replace all of that. Another good thing about this house though was that a lot of the um, bigger appliances were in good shape. So things like the water heater and the furnace were sem somewhat newer. So that was really nice that we wouldn't have to worry about replacing those in the next few years um, as long as they're still in good shape. Okay, then we get into the electrical, which is one of the biggest items that really made us upset <laughs> and so here you can see in the electrical box there are some heat discrepancies that we would have to deal with and down at the bottom here you can see that the uh, sticker indicates that there has been no recent inspections um, that would be then we'd have to get someone out there to give permits for that basement Here's some other weird items in the bedroom, like they just put carpet over a tile and some of the tiles are broken because they, see, you can see here, so it says carpet is loose in the lower level, this is laid over damaged tiles, this is a sign of amateur workmanship and may affect life and use of the materials. And then other things, damaged drywall in the lower level bedroom. There's a hole in the master bedroom ceiling. Okay, so here is another big thing that really did not make us happy. Basically, all of the... Um, okay, I'll just read what they have here. So, signs of amateur wiring in the lower level living room. Lower outlets were dead, and one outlet was covered by a solid faceplate. The outlet that is GFCI um, that did not trip when tested. Uh, should be in one of those pictures there that you can see. So there's recessed and covered wiring, and basically they would recommend an electrician coming out because this is a real big safety issue that can cause a lot of problems and a fire. So... That was something that we were like, oh, it's not just like little things to fix. This is a major, major issue that could kill one of our dogs. If there was a fire, could kill one of us. So that's really scary that we would be getting ourselves into that. So I hope that gave a better explanation of why we decided to cancel our offer on the house while there's going to be issues with every house, most likely, <laughs> uh, especially one built in the 70s. I think this just shows our maturity, or we feel, or hope, <laughs> that we don't need to rush into something. We do have time to, to say no and to not get into something that we feel is going to have a lot of issues. And so... I think it's for the best. It's really hard to say that because we want a house and we want to we want to move and have our own space, but I just don't think this was the one. And as sucky as that is, I think we can find something better suited for us and give us the things that we want and need out of a house. So I hope that was a good explanation for you guys. This really sucks and there's gonna be more videos of our house search. Hopefully they'll be better quality. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.